All right, we're continuing to try to, to not wordle, which seems to be very difficult lately. Um, <laughs> but the way don't wordle works, if you're not familiar, is it's like normal wordle, but you're trying not to solve it. Uh, somebody suggested that I should do, they gave me a list of four words that I should do until I get a letter, because obviously once you get one, you have to reuse it. Um, and these are ordered by Scrabble score, apparently, so the higher Scrabble score probably means it's using less common letters, obviously. So the first word is pizzazz, and then jiffy, and then xerox, and then chuck. So we're gonna start with pizzazz, which seems like a decent start, and of course, we got a letter already. So, that's the end of using the list. Uh, <laughs> uh hmm, so what do we do now? We went from almost 13,000 to only 600 possibilities. Um, so where's the least likely place for a P? That's the question. Uh, you know, the, my, my instinct is to do SP something, which obviously we don't want to do. Um, you know, usurp, it's good it uses two U's, uh, but the S and the R are pretty good letters, so I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm thinking P at the end is maybe good. We could do a we do a double vowel, maybe? What about whoop? Whoop seems decent. I mean, it all just depends, right? There could be an H, there could be an O, there could be a W, but... I feel like that's pretty good. Oh, of course. All right, well, we have to undo because there's only two words left, so le we should know what the answer is basically now, so let's think about this. Uh... What would this be? Probably PH at the end? Hmm. No, I can't think of anything with an OPH. So P... So then the P would have to be second. P-O... Probably not H. H is probably at the end then. Oh, ep epoch. Epoch. E-P-O-C-H. Okay, well, we know what to avoid now, I think. There's pro I mean, there's there's two words left, but I'm guessing the other one is something even more obscure than Epoch. Uh, or maybe something that I'm not thinking of. I don't know. We're gonna assume it's Epoch, because that's the only thing I can think of. Uh, so... Assuming it is... Uh, usurp... Actually isn't too bad then, right? Because it'll just give us the yellow P. Let's go with that. Okay, I should have done that in the first place, but S and R are good letters. I mean, you know, who would have thought? Okay, um, who would have thought that pizzazz and whoop would get you down to only two possibilities? I mean, uh, no, that's ridiculous. Okay, so now we want to do a P somewhere else, probably not second, if we can help it. Uh, we could do tippy. Use the double P, because after this we're gonna, you know, be locating the P anyways. I think. Well, we could do a word with the P third or fourth, and then another word with the P third or fourth. Maybe that would be a better plan. But then we're also using more other letters, so maybe we could do something with like a you know, vowel, vowel, something like that, with O or I, kind of do a repeated vowel. Uh, lipid, lipid. Lipid would be good. That doesn't use any of the letters in Epoch, assuming that's the answer. Okay, good, good, so that was good. Now, if we can do the P fourth, actually, if we can do the P second and fourth, that would work too. But, um... I mean, we could do we could do nymph, but we'd get the green H, and so then we'd have to have the P second and the H last after that. I'm not sure how many words there are like that. Yeah, I think I think once we get the H, green H, we're in trouble. You know, something like. Uh, I epoxy for our last guess would be okay. So, 
like in the next two, if we end up getting the E and the O, we'd be okay to do epoxy. But we can't do that yet, obviously. Uh, could do something like tempo, which gets us the yellow E and O, but at least they're not greens. But then we have to use E, P, and O. The P would have to be second. We would have to use E and O on our next guesses. I just, there's not that many words that have P second, I don't think, without an S at the beginning. So maybe usurp was a mistake. It probably was. I should have done the S. I should have saved the S for the beginning. And done... Hmm. You know, like spend and... Spill. Spock. Things like that. Except once we used the S, then we couldn't keep using it. So that wouldn't have made much of a difference, actually. But it could have been... We could have done one word with an SP. I think I'm in trouble. I don't think there's anything I can do. We might have been doomed from the start with pizzazz. Because... Uh, could we do tempt? Tempt might be better. Saves the O at least. I think I think we're gonna have. To, I'm gonna go for it, but I think we're gonna have too few words left after that. Yeah, only two. Epoch and epoxy. Uh. So I mean, we could do. We could use all of our undos and start fresh at the beginning. Or we could go here and do lipid. Don't do usurp. We could save the S for an SP word. So that way we've got... The problem is, once we get to P in the second position, I think it's epoch and epoxy. And so if we can do P, you know, third, fourth, or fifth a couple times, and then we can do spend and epoxy... Well, those have to be our last two, spend and epoxy. So we'd have to do P third, fourth, and fifth on these next three guesses, and then spend and epoxy, I think. Which means we can't use S, N, D, X, Y. Okay, so if we're gonna do epoxy and spend, before that, we could do something that does use like an S, E, oh no, I can't use an S, it could use an E. It could use an E, because it would be yellow and we could reuse it, but it couldn't be in that third position or the first position. So we could do, we could do tempt. Tempt right before spend, because it'll have the yellow E in the second position, we can then do the yellow E in the third. So we can do tempt, spend, and epoxy for our last three. So that's a P in the fourth position. So we just need something with a P third and a P last. But it can't be usurp because we can't use the S. We could do rupee. Oh, but we don't want to do that yet. No, no, no. We could do rupee third. Or, yeah, third though. Because again, we're just going to have the yellow E's. Because if we do rupee, it's the E's at the end. Tempt is E second. Spend is E third. So we can do rupee. We just need a word here that's got a P last. Just a word that uses P last. <sighs> that doesn't mess up the next plans. What about limp? Oh, but we were gonna do tempt, which would use the M. Man, that almost works. If we did blimp, then we couldn't use the M for tempt. Otherwise, that works perfect the rest of the way through, I think. Blimp, rupee, tempt, spend, epoxy. But the M is repeated. Alright, part of the problem is I need a word that uses just I's. Because I can't use the U or else I can't do rupee. Uh, I can't use the E because I'm already going to do the E in four spots. Uh... And I can't use the O, because then we have to do the O the rest of the time. So I need a word that only uses I, but
But everything I can think of uses a T or an M, which then means I can't do tempt. Because you could do blimp, but it's got the M. You could do equip, but then we'd have the E at the beginning. We could do uh, twerp, but there's a T. Tulip, but you use the U and the T. And if we do blimp, then we can't do tempt. So what are we going to do with a P fourth? Is there something else we could do with a T second before we do spend an epoxy? I guess that's a question, right? Yeah, I can't think of anything. I don't know. I don't think I don't think it can be done. I don't think there's a way to solve it after starting with pizzazz. So I'm gonna undo. Last undo. We're gonna start fresh. Uh, I mean, it's going to be a lot easier now, right? Just don't use the P. <laughs> uh, we could do Xylil. Xylil? I've been told that I mispronounce the word usually, because I usually say Zilil, because I didn't know what it was. It's Xylil, apparently. I'm probably going to keep forgetting and calling it Zilil, but... We can start with that. Um, that's that's going to be fine. Uh, and then we can do... Kayak because yeah, that'll be good. And then we could do mm, we could do fem, but then we're gonna have the yellow e that we'll have to keep using. At some point, we're gonna have to use some letters, obviously. We could do gruff. That would be good. That's not gonna get us anything. Okay, good. And now we've got to do something with an I probably because the O or the E is going to get us uh, a yellow or a green. So something with an I. Uh, we could do chimp, but we'd have a, a yellow C, H, and P. We could do white, but we'd have a yellow H and E. We could do bites. That would get us a yellow. Oh, but we can't do the S then. I was gonna say, then we could do spend, but we also can't do epoxy. So we need to avoid, we can't do spend and epoxy like we were originally planning, which is fine, but um, I mean, we could do bites. All we would have is the yellow E. And there's a lot of ways we can use the E, I think, without getting the answer. But, you know, at the end, we could do something like chomp for our last word. That would be good. But not if we get a yellow E, then we can't. At this point, we can use a P as long as we're careful. We can use any of the letters, really, as long as we're careful about it. You know, something like check would normally be good, but we're going to get the yellow C, H, and E. No, actually, we're going to get a green C and a yellow H and E. So that's no good. Again, it could be fine at the end, but... What about divot? Is that IT or OT? It might be OT. Otherwise, that's pretty good. Ah, it's OT, isn't it? And that would give us a yellow O. Although, after this, we're going to have to use O and E anyways, after we do the I. Uh, normally, you could do something like Civic, but then you're going to have the yellow C. Or Livid, but we already did the L. Vivid. 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 There we go. That's not going to get us anything but grays. Okay. Vivid. Good. And now we can do something, we can do something that has a couple of the letters, especially if they're yellow. So, you know, something like sheet isn't too bad. We're going to get the yellow E and the yellow H. But then we can do a word with an H and an E. And I think, I think we'll be okay. Or, or nests. Nests is even better. Then we only have the yellow E. Okay, so now all we got to do 
is one of 29 words, which normally might scare me, but since we pretty much know what the answer is, I think we're all right. So, uh, I mean, we could do, what could we do? Choke, because we're not gonna choke on this one. There we go, well, I mean, we got it. Today's word was ep epoch, yep, just like I thought. So we, we solved it, uh, or failed to solve it. Whatever it was, we did the good thing, the thing we wanted to do. <laughs> uh, whether it's failing or solving, we did the thing we wanted to do. But uh, that was a rough one. I, I'd really like to know if somebody could start with pizzazz and still get still survive this one. I, I don't know. I couldn't come up with a way to do it. Uh, I don't know how long I've been recording for. So that was, this has been over a half an hour. I mean, it's gonna be edited way down. Um, this has been over a half an hour of me trying to come up with a way to do it with pizzazz, and I just don't think you can. Even with, even knowing the answer and not starting with pizzazz, I was having a tough time through here, so. I don't know what it is. I think, I mean, partly it's good letters, right? C-H-O-E are all good letters. P's not too bad, so I think there's just, I think there's just a lot of words that use those letters, so. Anyways, let me know how you do with today's Don't Wordle. Uh, I'd be curious to hear how people manage this one, but, and be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles.